Hello guys, welcome to Rabbit's Coding. Uh, today we will learn about coding with rabbits. We will start a new game to start everything from scratch. So, uh, about scratch. Uh, everyone knows about scratch, uh, the little coding game where you can learn uh, coding with uh, little blocks. You arrange these blocks uh, and uh, the code will work according uh, to that. So, the story is the following. Uh, the rabbits have to go home and we will have to help them with codes. The little rabbits with funny helmet uh, can be controlled with uh, your code it's a funny little uh, mind control stuff and uh, you have uh, these commands so uh, you have commands these uh, what are executed when uh, the program runs the program starts uh, at the start and uh, it runs when you uh, uh, click on the play button and also it uh, shows you an objective uh, that you should uh, do it under uh, this many blocks but short uh, sentence about uh, codes so uh, these blocks uh, are the commands they are uh, displayed as uh, uh, these uh, little blocks in uh, flowchart diagrams and you will get a lot of other uh, little blocks uh, you can uh, catch or release uh, rabbits with robots uh, you can uh, pick up stuff with uh, your vacuum with your robot uh, you can hit uh, stuff like uh, buttons with your plunger and uh, drop a sausage because uh, rabbits are well known for their love for sausages because not every rabbit is uh, vegan so the code starts at start wonders and uh, one command uh, is executed uh, after that that's the simplest uh, one but if we execute uh, many uh, blocks after each other they are called a sequence so back to the game our short little puzzle is to find the uh, way to the washing machine the teleporting washing machine so we have to go one two and three blocks forward one two and three forward yay this wasn't that hard so uh, these three steps were uh, our first task uh, but now we have multiple uh, commands that we can give and we have to arrange them in uh, the correct order so if we step this or that way that uh, doesn't give a uh, big difference but if we uh, go one step and turn right then of course uh, the rabbit will uh, hit uh, his head in the invisible wall so we have to go one two and three blocks forward and then turn left and go another two steps forward It still isn't that hard, even for beginners. So now, it will get a bit tricky, because we command our little robot that can uh, catch and release rabbits. So, we go two tiles forward, grab that little, grab that little bunny, then turn left, step one forward and release so it will go forward catch it turn left and release not that a big deal so 
now we will uh, have a suboptimal uh, solution at first and then uh, we will optimize it. So, how would we do this? Move one tile forward, turn left, grab that bunny, turn around, that must be done uh, in two steps, move forward and release. That will put the first bunny the first washing machine, so that's okay. And one thing to note, the washing machine disappears. So you can't go like, oh, grab this one, uh, put it in here, just go back and throw it uh, back here. So uh, that's not possible, sadly. So we grabbed here our money and uh, we have to go back here. So we were facing uh, like this. So, so, okay, turn twice left. Go one tile forward and turn right. Now we're facing uh, again to the uh, correct uh, direction. Then go two tiles forward and turn right. Grab, turn around, and uh, well, we are almost. Uh, we are already at limit so when we go another step forward and release the bunny it will be over the limit So, it's okay, but we can do better. So, what we forgot that we can go backwards too, not only forward. So, when we dropped our first bunny, we don't have to turn around. Just go back. We, were, we are facing uh, this way. And then turn left instead of right. So, if we do this, we will be under the uh, 17 uh, steps or blocks limit it will be okay. So, that wasn't that hard. So, now we have a vacuum cleaner and have to clean up the mess. So now we have our move and turn commands. We have the vacuum command. So what should we do? Go vacuum. Go, go. And first pick up or first turn. It's it, it really, we don't, really don't care. So just turn first left and vacuum. Now we'll be facing that way. Move twice forward and clean up the mess. That's not this hard. So uh, now we can speed up our uh, runtime because we don't have that much time. So we have to go around uh, this place and collect all the four stuff on the ground. It really doesn't matter if we go uh, left or right. So we go first right because we are lazy and uh, don't want to uh, use uh, so many left. Uh, uh, turns because it's so bad to uh, put in. So first move forward to the this tile, turn right, move, vacuum and and after that we have to turn left and left and oh oh 
we wanted to be lazy, but no, first we have to uh, go left. So first we go forward, go left, or turn left, uh, go forward, vacuum, then turn right, go two tiles forward, vacuum, turn right, move, turn, vacuum. So it's it's okay. We you already see that uh, it's repeating. In uh, later uh, uh, puzzles, we will get uh, the cycles that will help uh, run uh, similar or uh, or the same code again and again. So we were at one, two, three, and the last. If I remember correctly, and speed up things. Now we learn how to hit buttons to prevent death by shock. So if you just try to uh, go one, two, three, four, five titles forward, then turn right or left, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but we turn right and then go two tiles forward, we will get zapped. So we have to go two tiles forward, turn left, this little yellow uh, uh, stuff here shows where we uh, will insert our block, so we turn left here, hit the button and turn right, we make a uh, short pose here. So, our rabbits are a little bit hungry, so we have to give them food. They love worst. But we have to uh, disengage uh, this force field, and we probably do this by hitting the red button. So, one, two, dial us forward, turn left. forward, left again, and hit the button. And there we go. So, they love their burst, so we will give them some. How could we do this? We should uh, put some uh, burst here and here. So we go two tiles forward, drop the sausage and see what happens, just for testing. Okay, they can be easily baited, so at this point, we have to turn right, one tile forward, turn left, two tiles forward, and drop the sausage. So, we can see that this is pretty repeating, go three tiles forward, hit the button, turn right, three tiles forward, hit the button, turn right, three tiles forward, turn right. This will be in a cycle soon enough. So, just a test run. And the best would be if we could repeat this block again and again, but now we have to do it 
manually. Hit. Turn right. Forward, forward, forward. Hit. Turn right. This is one, two, three. And one more step. That speed comes up. Nah. Uh, I mixed up two blocks, sorry. That wasn't that hard. Now we can finally repeat uh, our stuff. Thank to the cycles. These little blocks repeat stuff again and again. Uh, we here uh, set the uh, number of uh, cycles or repeats. Uh, in the flowchart diagram, uh, you will have to have a counter or something like that. But it's something like this. You go over and over again uh, on the same block for several times. This will uh, enable us uh, to have smaller code because we don't have to uh, write uh, the same stuff again and again. But let the uh, CPU or the rabbit execute it again and again. So we have to go one, two, three, four tiles forward. Um, no, we have to set one move forward and do it four times instead of four blocks. We repeated it again, again, and again. We have now a smaller code. Now we have to turn left and do this again. One, two, three, four, five times. One forward command, repeat it five times. So now we had five tiles instead of at least ten. So, what should we do now? We have to look for patterns that we can repeat again and again. What we can do here is go forward, turn left, go forward, turn right, and so on and so on. We will do it first manually. Forward, turn left. Forward, turn right. Left, right, left, right. We are already over the limit. And we are, well, almost there. But not there. But if we repeat this, Four steps, three times, we can reach our destination with less written code. The execution will be the same, it takes a similar amount of time, but the code will be less, it will be easy, easier to maintain. Also an easy task, you have to put four sausages here. Go, put, go, put, go, put, go, and put another sausage again. So we have to repeat four times that we move forward and drop a sausage. Move, drop, repeat, move, drop, repeat, and again and again. We have three blocks of code instead of eight. Now this is a bit tricky map. Find the shortest way. If we count, uh, this pass will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tiles long. But the other way will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will probably be a bit longer in code. 
So we first go the easier way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. Go for the seven tiles, turn right. Now only four tiles, turn right. Three tiles forward. Turn left. And it's for, for the block count is the same if we do uh, two forward blocks or one repeated one forward block. It seems it, it will be the easier pass, but try the other. <laughs> We maybe see that we will have to go two tiles forward, turn right, step two tiles forward, and then we can do this zigzag pattern. So one, two forward, and one forward, turn left. Forward, turn right, let's try this, but if we go forward again, Try to go left. We will hit the wall, so don't go forward. Turn right and do the same twice again. So we go up to four times. If we reach the goal. We are cheating a bit, but we reach the goal one step less. Can we do it even less? Practically, if we go forward uh, and try to go uh, turn uh, le left, right, no, if we try to go right and then left, we reached a similar goal. Uh, let's set it for nine just. <laughs> For a long run. And the rabbit can do the whole track using just five blocks. The cheating is that uh, we will hit the wall several times, so it takes a bit longer uh, time to uh, reach the end, but practically we could do it uh, in just five. Uh, Blocks. So, repeat stuff again. What can we say here? Go forward, forward, push the button, forward, forward, push the button, forward, push the button, forward. Oh, we can see the pattern here that we move forward twice, turn left, push the button, turn right. And we'll do it once, twice, twice, and four times. And we will try to turn left and right uh, in the end, but we will be already in the washing machine. And we will move forward, and that's where our program terminates. So it's not a normal stop, but it stopped. Similar stuff. We have to push this red button, and the fastest is always uh, 
a straight line but we can here to go really diagonally so first we try to go forward three tiles to spare some tile count to even the cycleway one two three turn left go four tiles forward turn right move I... we are already at the, over the count but let's see if it works yep definitely works but we are over the count over the limit so we will try again we can do our zigzag pattern so move forward turn left move forward turn right once twice thrice four times again and hit the button in the end because we will be facing here this way cycles again we can see uh, it's it's pretty symmetric it's a really beautiful pattern so we have to go push the button go back turn push 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 and do it again four times so it will definitely need a uh, cycle so move forward push the button come back we already learned that we don't uh, turn around and uh, go back but move backwards and at the end we will turn either left or right now turn left do it for all the four directions Finally, the conditional blocks. These conditional blocks execute your code only if uh, the condition is met, if it's true. So let me show you it uh, in the flowchart uh, diagram. If our condition is met, if it's true, then we will do this stuff inside uh, the conditional block. If it's not, if the condition is not met, yeah, we will yeah, jump over it. That's all. And our conditions are yeah, either true or either false. It's not a fuzzy logic. So it's not like, well, we were it over, over this orange blo block and, and we weren't. Or, no, it's either true or either false. It's a strict yeah, stuff. So uh, these conditional blocks will like, or the conditions will be like, can uh, uh, the rabbit move forward? Uh, are we above uh, orange, uh, orange or uh, uh, purple tile? Or uh, is the goal uh, reached? Something like that. If uh, this condition is met, the block is inside this conditional block will execute. Uh, the other way, they will never execute. So. How should we use uh, the conditions uh, in the game? We see that uh, we should go 1, 2, 3 ties forward, 1, 2, 3, 4 ties forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ties forward. Mm -hmm. It seems that uh, the number of uh, steps isn't uh, the same. So. If uh, we can go forward, we try to go forward, and if we met uh, an orange tile, we will turn right. Yeah, if we j just turn right, it will be okay. So, we will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 tiles this time. We will 
will max out uh, this uh, cycle here. So, we go forward. That's easy. If we try to go forward 15 times, we will stop <laughs> the uh, very beginning. So, if we meet an orange block, if we, well, not orange block, but if we can go right, then turn right. Then go again. Here we can't turn right. Here we can turn. We can turn right only at the orange blocks. So uh, theoretically, it will go all the way long. And we did it with two less tiles than expected. So. The conditions uh, are uh, blocks that uh, don't uh, always execute only when uh, our uh, set condition is met. These, are, these conditions are little plugins. Now we have uh, the orange and purple tires. We have to step three times, two times, three, three, two times. So we have to do something similar. We have to want to move forward first. We have to go 13 times. And if we are over, and only when if we are over a uh, color tile, we will uh, uh, pick that stuff up. Because uh, the vacuum will take a lot of time. So we don't uh, just spam it like, okay, like uh, go and vacuum. It, it's just a waste of time but uh, we can do like go forward and if we can can turn left because we are uh, not like we are over an orange or uh, purple tile but if we can move I said if we can it's a bit buggy sorry So uh, if we can go left, then turn left, but if we can turn right, turn right, and it doesn't stop here, haha, <laughs> we have a bug. So if we can move left, we turn left, if we can move right, we will turn right, both cases we try to vacuum and that's all whoops we have to put one more vacuum at the end or Change the move. No, just increase the count once more. And it will try to uh, do uh, this cleaning again. No, because we can't uh, turn either left or right, so uh, we will just spam another vacuum cleaning at the very end and go back to 13. If we had this condition like, uh, are you over a purple block, then we could uh, do this vacuum cleaning there. Now it seems easy. We have to go a long way again. So just go with 50 for safety. And, well, just move forward. And if you can turn left. Then turn 
left. And that's all. It will go around. It's just a small repeating task. Now it will offer the dial conditions too. So we don't go like, okay, if we can turn left, turn left. But we will go like, if you are on, a, on each dial, turn left. And put all this in a big loop, in a big cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six times only. Move forward and if you can turn left, turn left on the orange dial. It offers uh, us a so-called nested loop. So you can uh, put whatever blocks inside whatever blocks you would like. But in this case, uh, it will be really helpful because it seems like we have to go three bl blocks here, three, three. We always have to go three tiles forward. That's okay. We have to do it once, twice, once, five times. Go forward. Pick up the stuff. First go forward, pick up the stuff and turn according to the uh, tile. So if we are on an orange tile, turn left because we have to turn left here and here, but on the purple tiles we have to turn right. So we'll do another condition. If you are on a purple tile, turn right. So, in this case, uh, it says uh, that uh, we have to use uh, the conditions to pick items up. They mean by this that we could do like, okay, just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three tires again, and vacuum cleaning all the time. We could do this. Move forward, try to clean. Move forward, try to pick up stuff. We could do this. Oh, I forgot to turn uh, the right of the this, so turn right. But vacuum cleaning takes a lot of time. We don't want to do that only when we have to uh, pick up stuff. So, if we are over an uh, orange tile, we do vacuum cleaning only that time. It will execute much, much faster. And this was the proper way to do this. In this next one, well, it's almost the same. We try to go forward, if we can uh, turn right, we will turn right, and if we are at the color tile, we will uh, try to uh, switch the zappers off. So, first try. Uh, move forward, and if you can, Turn right, turn right. 
this would be uh, the basic movement but if we move forward and we are on an orange tile we should uh, turn left hit the button and turn back if we forget uh, about uh, the purple tile uh, we will get zapped so we we will do this for the purple tile also but in this case we have to turn right first hit the button turn left Style. Go forward until we meet the washing machine. So, at uh, level 25, we met today's last block, and this will be the last uh, map today. This is a cycle where we have, can set our own condition. In this case, uh, we set when uh, do we want to uh, repeat uh, the stuff again and again. This is a cycle that uh, checks the condition first and then executes uh, the commands if the condition is met. The other type of cycle uh, just does this thing first and then checks if uh, the condition was met. And if the condition is met, it will try to do it again. That's the big difference. So in this case, uh, we will check uh, if well, if we can turn right or something like that. And if we can turn right, uh, that will turn uh, right or well, no, we can move. Let's see in the game. Our condition is if we can move forward, back, uh, uh, left or right. So if we can turn no if it uh, can go forward just go forward we don't want to count that like, one two three four five then three then uh, then it's it's not the best uh, way uh, to do uh, in uh, a lot of blocks so if we can move forward then we try to go forward then if we finish this, we turn right and repeat all this again. Try to reach the end, reach the end. Okay, turn right. Turn right. So we have to do this once, twice, four times. You see, we uh, don't uh, uh, go uh, for, uh, we don't skip uh, this cycle until we uh, at the end of the road. So, that's what that was for today. I hope you enjoyed.